is lifetime. Bert has arrived. Therefore, it is time to make some pottery. Pottery. We'll continue. All right. Get my chat pulled up over here so I can see it. Um. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Why do you pop up? There we go. And let us pop out the chat. Chat is popped out. Pull that down. Pull that up. Hey, Bloodly. How's it going, man? Did you have a good weekend? <clears throat> okay. Hey, Leslie. Howdy doody, tootie fruities. All right. I have now got the chat pulled up. Woo! Hey friends. You guys you guys have good weekends? Uh, I asked Bloodleaf, but not you Leslie. Had a great weekend. Got more done on the puppet I'm working on than I thought I would. Sweet! Hey, Sunset's here. How you doing? How you feeling? Nice to see you. Did you got have a good weekend as well? My hours was a very active weekend, which I approve of. I spent a lot of time outside. Do I look a little more brown than I was before? <clears throat> New setup. Hey, hey. Yeah, actually, I have a show coming this next weekend, so I moved my shelf. The shelves that I usually have behind me are the ones I carry to shows. Man, my hair is all kind of crazy right now. I had my sunglasses on top of my head. <laughs> Well, we're looking just on the stream looking like a ragamuffin. You got a tan, I see. Chad, your tan. I know. I was looking, I looked at myself with the camera. I was like, man, I look like I spent some time outside. <laughs> and I did. That's basically what we did uh, all weekend, all day yesterday and Saturday. Um, so, Saturday, me and my son had like an outdoors kind of day. What were the girls doing? I don't remember what the, the girls were doing something else, but me and him, we were just kind of like going around, well, we were like weed eating around the, around the house and stuff. And then, we ended up, we worked on the go-kart a bit. We were not able to fix the go-kart. We have a go-kart, the transmission's broken off of the, um, there's some bolts that are sheared off. I'm gonna have to go probably take it somewhere. So we did that, and then after that, we just like broed down outside, and we set up a tent and a uh, bonfire, and uh, went fishing. Just just spent the basically the rest of the weekend outside. It was awesome. Uh, and I got a little sunburnt, but it wasn't so bad. I think it's going to turn brown rather than just get crispy and peel off. Uh, Cleanthus, hey, how you doing? Did you have a good birthday celebration, Cleanthus? We're able to celebrate uh, yes yesterday. Let's see, we're gonna celebrate. And well, it's good to see everybody. And Bloodleaf said, just gotta stitch the lips and the teeth on, then the eyes. I haven't really been. Uh, I hadn't checked the Discord today. Have you posted anything on the Discord? I feel like there was a notification on my phone, guys. I came in this morning. Me and Megs both slept until like 5:30. So I rolled up to work super late, and um, it's been kind of like, see the pants. I just got done uh, with a workout and a big lunch. Uh, did a three mile run today, then got in the pool for a minute, and then quick lunch and quickly back. Bloodleaf says, hello beautiful people. Everybody saying hello. Also, yes, posted updates in Discord, made a video for you in general chat. I'm going to check that out after the stream. I'm going to check it out. I did record two shorts today. 
So we will have some shorts and uh, there will be a Bert hunt to be done. But I think I forgot to move Bert between recording my... So, so far there's only going to be one Bert hunt and it'll be today. And I've got to record some long form videos. I got nothing banked. So I'm going to maybe do that tomorrow morning and figure something out. Uh, let's see. I didn't do much during the weekend besides eating because I went shopping. Oops. Oh, did you get anything cool while you were shopping? Uh, I saw, I saw your video. Uh, I got a notification for your video this morning. And I still need to watch uh, Leslie's videos. I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that. Probably after stream today. Uh, let's see. Made a parody video for you in general chat. Sweet. I'm excited to see it. <clears throat> Dog's birthday is today. Baked her a cake. Oh, yeah. Should we sing happy birthday to your dog? <laughs> I'll make Bert hold a candle. Uh, Thomas says, good evening. Regards from the Swiss. Thomas. Welcome to you, Thomas. I'm glad you decided to come back. Good to have you here. Make sure I soak that. And let's make some mugs. All right, guys. I'm feeling a little bit sleepy now. The afternoon, post-lunch, post-run sleepiness has hit me. People, people need to nap. <laughs> My Megs is here, but she's in another room working on our uh, show shelves. Uh, so we got a show this weekend, and the process for that is... Oh, man, I didn't take my watch off. Uh, to gather all the things. So I got all the shelves. I got the ones from behind me. I cleaned them today. And my Megs is collecting. And I've been making pieces for it for the uh, last couple of months now. I've been kind of socking stuff back. So we're just seeing what we've got and pricing things and whatnot. Uh, Sunset says, I got some spicy chicken patties. I've been craving. Oh, yeah. She's next to me right now. Happy birthday to you, little dog. Which which one is it? Which color is this? The one that's got the birthday. And what's its name? Is she watching the live? Uh, if your dog is, um, how do you say happy birthday in dog? Did I make it perk up? I'm barking. I said happy birthday in dog language. I scared Megan. <clears throat> Bloodleaf says severe thunderstorm near me right now. Strikes are loud as hell today. Oh man, it is crazy beautiful blue skies today. I mean, it, it's like hot outside. <clears throat> uh, hi, I'm late. I'm gonna come later too. Hey, uh, uh, Greek man, welcome to you. And no worries on being late. I'm just getting started. I've, I've been going for like eight minutes now. But for part of that, I was getting the chat pulled up and stuff. The fun one, Bailey is her name. Well, happy birthday, Bailey. Happy birthday to you. I need to take my watch off. It's going to get dirty. I forgot to put my apron on as well. Just see the pants today, guys. <clears throat> it's gonna be hot all week long i'm so excited hoping to swim i got in the pool today it's still a little cold but i felt good it's not like joint like joint achingly cold if it's too cold it makes my feet hurt really bad oh man my my legs and feet are sore today uh at the end of the evening last night I was chasing the kids around. We were playing freeze tag, and I was chasing them in my uh, flip flops. And running in flip flops makes pee paws feet hurt. And then I went for a jog today. <clears throat> she literally just stared at me. <laughs> it's like, what? What's going on here? It's going to hit the 90s. Uh, Leslie says, damn, I'd melt at 90. Uh, it's going to hit the 80s here, I do believe, by the end of the week, which would be awesome. 
girl when summer comes it hits over 100 yeah it does it does here too it's super humid here i'm gonna take my watch off real quick guys clean my fingers off okay there we go and i'm filthy anyway so i'm good without that apron today It'll be all right. The apron's pretty dirty. I need to wash it again. I really need to wash that thing every day. <sighs> Never skip cardio. Well, it's not so much the cardio. I'm in pretty good shape cardiovascularly, but I'm not used to running in flip-flops. And they're like, they're not very supportive. They're like hard, they've got like leather, they're leather flip-flops. So, probably shouldn't have been running full tilt in flip-flops. I'm kind of surprised I didn't smash my face on the ground, honestly. <laughs> uh, where did the things go in the background? Uh, those are my show shelves, and I have a show this weekend. Uh, the one and only show that I do in the year is this weekend. So I'll do the show, and then I'll put those back. And then they'll stay put for the year. Uh, I'm going to pass out because I give birth in the summer. Oh man, there's a big bug flying around in here. I'm not sure what kind of bug that is. It looks like a horse fly. Hanging out on my light. Yeah, that's a horse fly. Hey, y'all probably be able to see it buzz by my head. That's a big boy. I'm watching. Oh, there he goes. We have uh, carpenter bees around our house like crazy. And been dodging those all weekend. I actually smacked one over the weekend. Got too close to me and I was like, smack! Get out of here, B. Ooh, I hate running in flops. It, yeah, I should have known better to, than to run that much. But the kids needed to be frozen because it was free sag and I was it. Uh, is Bert going to be part of the show? I, you know, I probably won't take him with me. He might run people out of the booth. Although I could hide him somewhere and see which of the customers uh, find it. Could put him poking out of a vase or something. Surprise! Hey Meg, should I take Bert to the show? She said yes. She said that she'd be very disappointed if I did the show without Bert. He's gonna bite you. I hope he doesn't bite me. Those things hurt. You ever been bitten by a horse fly? It's not fun. It's not ideal. Surprisingly, it did not get bitten by mosquitoes over the weekend. Not a single bite. Ring it outside all day. Maybe it's not quite time for the skeeters. But I am basically like a mosquito magnet. If I'm, I'm usually the one that gets bitten. All right. Hey, I brought some questions with me. Would you rather have the legs of a frog or the head of a fly? Speaking of flies, what does that even mean? I, th I guess the legs of a frog. I think that'd be less weird. Fun fact, male carpenter bees don't sting. Only females sting when you disturb their nest and can sting multiple times. I've never been stung by one. I, I did not know the fun fact. I just assumed that they didn't sting. Do the females, like, do, do they like hang out at the nest? How do carpenter bees even work? I don't know. But what I do know is they are annoying. And they'll actually like get up in your business and like stare you down. The carpenter bee will fly at me like, just look at you for a second. <clears throat> All I heard was frog legs. Would you rather have the legs of a frog or the head of a fly? Have you guys ever eaten frog legs? I've eaten frog legs. They're not bad. Not bad, not bad. Have you guys ever had alligator? <sighs> Thomas says next month. I start to work with the clay of the new machine. Happy. Uh, cannot wait. Learn more faster. <clears throat> so 
So you get to do like a different pottery wheel, Thomas. I think you sent a picture of a new, like a new pottery wheel, I think. So the context behind that. The females will rarely sting unless you really poke and disturb them. They tend to stay in the nest, uh, whereas males wander out. So it's the males that are out like buzzing around your head and stuff. <clears throat> They live for a few days only. Oh, wait, 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 missed something. Um, if I'm a fly, can I be killed? I want to go out quick. Yeah, they, they do go out quick. If they get into my house and Megs gets a hold of them, though, if she knows that they're nearby, sees them, detects them, she, she goes on a war path. She will get the flies. We often get <clears throat> uh, wasps in here. Do you guys have paper wasps where you live? Uh, those, especially the red ones, those are terrible. Oh, I got stung by one last year. I was just walking. I was just like leaving work. I walked out the door. Bam! It nailed me right in the back. Um, no, 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 no. This one hit me right on the top of the head. Uh, the time before was the one I got hit right on the back. Through my t-shirt. Those things are rough. Yeah. Makes the fly swatter. Yep. Indeed. Every now and then I'll do battle with paper wasp that gets inside of my studio. I got flask water here, and I'm usually like trying to swat it out of the uh, uh, out of the air. But I've, I've kind of I've got a strategy that tends to outsmart them to make them leave me alone. So I turn on all the lights, and I'll open the door, and they'll go to the light, and they'll just fly out, fly out the building. It's a pro tip how to get rid of the wasp. Uh. Thomas says, I hate only mosquitoes and spiders. Now we have brown recluses here. What kind of spiders do you guys have in your neck of the woods? Uh, the two poisonous varieties are black widows and brown recluses here. I see brown recluses like all the time because they're, they're actually here in my art studio. Uh, they come in on the cardboard shipping supplies. It's really hard. Oh no! No! I might have broken my mug. Yep. I ruined it. No! <laughs> oh, man. All right. That's the first time I've ruined a mug on YouTube stream. It was bound to happen at some point. What I did there, I did not clean my rib off like I should have. All right. Oh man, I'm getting behind. Have you seen palmetto bugs? Uh, those are disgusting. I live in Florida. I don't know what that is. Megs, do you know what a palmetto bug is? It's basically a giant beetle. Like a giant beetle? Yeah. Early this year, both my cousins got attacked by yellow jackets while doing work. Uh, same guy's yard, different days. Oh man, those are rough, but they're not that bad. The yellow jackets are not terrible. I got into a yellow jacket nest a couple of years ago. We were, uh, me and my father-in-law were pulling up some, some hedge bushes and um, basically stuck my hand in the nest. <laughs> Just hear expletives. It's in running off. Oh man, they're nothing compared to the, um, the red wasps. Man, those are bad. Those are real bad. And Thomas says, oops. Yep, oops. I oopsed it. Look, man. I don't know if it's a spider. I'm gonna be a track. I'm a, a trickster that day. I mean, a track star. I'm gonna be running away. The, the um, so what was I saying? We have brown recluses here in the studio. I basically kill one of those every single day over the summertime here. I see them all the time. Uh, black widows. I see maybe one or two per year, but we do we do have those pretty regularly. I can't believe I broke that mug. All right, I need a sign put up behind me. Time, mugs since last incident, last breakage incident. <clears throat> Track star, yeah. Can never be me. <sighs> she a runner. I'm basically like just li used to living with the spiders now. They don't bother me. Um, and snakes too, saw a snake over the weekend. 
well, me and my son were working around the yard. My nose is itching like crazy. As per the usual during the live stream, as soon as I sit down and start making stuff. So, the YouTube adventure has been going well. I finally broke a thousand watch hours. Hooray! Only 3,000 more to go for full monetization and some figuring out. I got to figure out the uh, account stuff and all that, those things you do. So, there's a thing that happened. So, I think this week I'm going to go. Um, the plan is to go back to three days a week live streaming, and I'm going to try to do a long form video tomorrow and Thursday. And hopefully Saturday as well, if I got time to get one banked. Um, I've got a pretty heavy order load this week, plus we have the show over the weekend. So, there may only be two this week. We're going to see. Today's been kind of like seat of the pants. So, that's like tentative schedule. I don't know. I may just be like, I'll just stream. <laughs> I may just I mean, I get if I don't get one recorded tomorrow morning, I'll probably just stream. And it depends on like where I land, um, mug mug schedule wise. <clears throat> oh, Bloodleaf, did, are you? Did you make it to the four thousand hours? <laughs> Leslie says twenty four more subs for me, and I can go live. Oh yeah! Hey, you guys, uh, if y'all hadn't subbed to Leslie, please do so. I'm not real sure. I haven't watched her videos yet. I am sub to her. I'm planning to watch some this afternoon. Uh, and thank you guys for the kind words. Freakman says, I got on vacation and I saw the bones of a snake. Was it a big snake? A snake's pretty common around here. Snakes and turtles. Oh, I caught a giant fish. I caught the biggest bass I ever caught over the weekend. It was about five pounds. Uh, I've caught catfish. Uh, see, the biggest catfish I caught was about around 18 pounds. Um, but that I'd never caught a bass that big. The, the next biggest bass I ever caught was like a pound and a half. But this one, well, this was a big boy. And man, I, I was surprised. Like, it hit my lure... And I got it up to the boat like really fast because it was kind of coming towards the boat. And uh, when I got it up to the boat, I saw it. I was like, oh, it's so big. It's huge. And then it just took off. It took my drag. And I was using a very light lure and uh, my, my smallest fishing rod and two-pound test line. I mean, it was like the lightest tackle I have. And so I had to finesse him to the boat. And there right at the end, I mean, he was like right under my boat. I basically had to reach under the boat and pull him out of the water. <clears throat> Bloodleaf says, last year I had 4,000 hours but was under 1K subs. Now I'm over 1K subs, but only have 1.5K watch time. I still got work to do. Oh, man, that'd be frustrating. My new uh, EP bummed me up like 200 hours. Bumped me up like 200 hours, but usually my videos uh, don't take off till after a month. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't figured that out yet. Um, I almost feel, I can't, it seems like maybe the lives mess with the engagement or something, because I'll have a video doing well, and then I'll do a live, and then the video will just fall off. So, I don't know. Um, I really don't have a ton of data yet, so... I guess I'm still in the mode just putting stuff up and just seeing what happens. <clears throat> but that 200 hours is good. It's severely frustrating. I bet, man. <clears throat> um, since it says, I think people are messing with me watching my videos and not subscribing. Oh, uh, well, what's the reason for having your comments turn off, turned off, Sunset? I noticed that you didn't have comments on. Is that like an ASMR kind of thing? Is there a reason behind that? 
I've noticed that it takes, as far as my videos, I mean, I get between two and 11 subs per video. I mean, they're, those uh, long form videos, they don't do a whole lot subscriber wise. My cat will be famous before me. Everybody likes kitties. Well, most people like kitties. <clears throat> My most viewed is over 2.1K. I have no idea why. And I'll be posting more bacon content eventually. Yeah, you gotta do the, do the thing that got you the most engagement. That's what they say. You gotta follow that. Follow that path. <clears throat> Sunset says, just don't want the hate. Yeah, you could just ignore them. Or I heart react hate comments. <laughs> there you go. All right, see you later, Greek man. Hope to come back to join us again. <clears throat> I haven't really had a whole... I, I maybe have had one or two hate comments. I do have some dislikes on my videos. I'm at like 94%, 95% like ratio. Um, but I think that's a, 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 a shorts kind of thing too. I don't know. I might have just like 14 people that are like, oh, I hate your stuff. Because it's about the same amount every time. Next question. Would you rather wear a wedding dress, tux every day, or a bathing suit every day? For me, definitely bathing suit. Sometimes I do wear a bathing suit to work. And then I go home and I jump in the pool. <clears throat> and that keeps the clay from going into my house. It's not a bad thing. Although it'd be kind of fun doing pottery in a tuxedo. It's like a good, uh, good video concept. Formal pottery. Haters gonna hate, indeed. Trolls, only explanation. Nobody could hate this. I know, right? Seriously. Bathing suit, it gets hot. Leslie says, bathing suit. My bathing suit is shorts and a shirt. So just normal every day for me. <laughs> nice. Yep. That's basically me too. It's almost shorts weather here in like a week. Be downright hot. I could actually be wearing shorts right now. It's still cool in the studio. Um, this building is basically a giant uh, walk-in refrigerator, so it's like super insulated. Uh, it stays cool in here for a while, and it stays warm in here for a while at the end of the summer. Uh, hey, they only hate because they think they can't do it. Got to believe in yourself. Yep, indeed. Haters gonna hate. So my Megs won't be in here until Wednesday. Hopefully, hopefully she will be able to join the streams some this week. I gotta get her, I gotta figure out the microphone situation for her. I may try to hook up my um, uh, Logitech cameras and do like a, a double, it's like split it in half and have one camera on me and one camera on her vertically. I may be trying to do that pretty soon. What would you guys think about that? Or do you like just straight up pottery wheel? got behind uh, I've been wearing shorts I gotta take advantage of the Sun over here indeed I wore shorts yesterday and the day before even after I lost weight and I'm skinny boy now still never learned to swim with the shirt off ah hey man Sun's out guns out you got to embrace it Clint that says bathing suit bathing suits way more comfortable than the tuxedo I haven't worn a tuxedo in a long time. <clears throat> I can't wear anything besides dresses now. Big belly.
I just saw the fly out of the corner of my eye. <clears throat> At least you get an airflow sunset. <laughs> Indeed. Hey, whatever's comfortable. I remember my Megs, uh, when she was pregnant with our daughter, our daughter was born August 30th, so it was like the high heat of the summer when she was pregnant with her. <clears throat> we don't have Meg's voice. I know. She's in the other room today working on her uh, show shelves. Uh, legs out, breezes out. Oh, Lord, August heat. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. It's hot out there right now. But I'm glad that it's finally warming the pool up because it has been cold. It was a little chilly today. I bet it's like 68 degrees. Uh, yes, it's nice and comfy. I am so ready for summertime. So ready. All right, we got... This is mug number six on the table. I can't believe I lost a mug. For shame. Time since last incident. What is this, like fourth mug since the incident? I think I went my entire Twitch career without breaking a mug. I mean, except I did something on purpose. <clears throat> Our pool is freezing. Not for long. If you're watching the live and haven't commented yet, show yourself, cowards. <laughs> Literally, don't be shy. That wasn't me saying that. That was blood leaf. Don't leave. Just keep hanging out. You don't have to say anything. Don't have to listen to blood leaf. So, you guys do anything cool this week? You might got plans? <clears throat> Julia says, bro, in Cyprus, it's 100 and over. All right, so you got high temps already? Also, welcome to you, Julia. Glad you're here. A warm welcome. We have a little bit out, out of the ordinary week this week uh, with the show coming up. Let's see, Friday. I'll prob hopefully, I'll be back. I may, I may stream a little bit later in the afternoon on Friday because we'll be doing show setup in the morning. Uh, probably still stream. Um, Megs is pretty well going to handle the packing everything up. And we'll just have to load it up Friday morning, set it up, be back out of the studio. Hopefully the weather's going to cooperate. <clears throat> uh, Leslie says, Sunset says, hi, Julia. Leslie says, college stuff. Got to work on my car. What's wrong with your car? Julia is officially not a coward. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. So we got that. So it's also going to be a work every day kind of situation until uh, next, not this coming weekend, but the next weekend. We'll be busy, busy around here. Julia left by accident. No, but I'm glad she came back. Welcome back. Wonder how many people joined that haven't yet and are wondering who Bert is. <laughs> I don't know. Like, see Bert? He's right here. I wonder how many people come in and don't see Bert. I wonder what the split is on that. Uh, Leslie says the engine is overheating, and I pray it's easy fix. I'm going to see a mechanic soon and actually see what, what he says. I had a car that overheated easily, um, but it was really just during, like, the hot months. It was an 89 model IROC Z28 Camaro. I love that car. Uh, but if you got in like bumper to bumper traffic and you were just basically sitting still and not going, it would overheat. That was a fast car. Ultimately, sold the car and bought a real nice mattress. Me and Meg still use that mattress. And I uh, got more miles on that mattress than I ever put on that car. <laughs> Cars. I know. <laughs> it sounds awful. I say that all the time, and Meg's just like, but I'm talking about sleeping, guys. Just sleeping. I sleep in, in the bed 
more than I drove the car. <laughs> Meg says I'm digging myself a hole. Down in a hole. I see the fly. You stay over there, fly. Uh, well, it's not even that hot here since it says I noticed the bird immediately that time. I joined for the first time. I make a point to bring Bert with me, so I always notice him. Uh, Julie says, tomorrow in 12th grade, my sister will do the thing you're doing. I don't know the name. Oh, they're going to do pottery. Very cool. Leslie says, ayo. Indeed. Sunset says pottery. <laughs> but it is a really nice mattress. Hey, a nice mattress is a very, very good thing to have. It's quality of life. And it adds a lot. Like every night when I lay down to go to sleep, I mean, I am a peepaw and I get up real early. But also, man, that's a comfy mattress. I'm just like, uh, like audibly cry loud. Uh, it's a good mattress. I don't think I ever did that in the Camaro, although it was really fast. Uh, let's see. You build only the cu the cups and blood leaf set. Yeah, uh, mostly cups. I make like 90 plus percent pottery cup, pottery mugs. Thomas says it's a good business. Indeed. I've been doing it for 15 years. <clears throat> Who are you telling? I have a very high mattress. No pun intended. Your mattress is high? Pottery is very common, but not many people can do it. Take skills for sure. Uh, it's it has a bit of a learning curve for sure and it, it takes a minute to figure out how to make money uh, we'll make enough money to subsist off of making pottery I will say it took us a while to get there but before that we were teaching classes that's how we were able to uh, keep things going and have enough money for a family and whatnot <clears throat> uh yes yes like having to, <clears throat> having to have a step stool to get up that is a high mattress i'd just probably take a running jump at it <clears throat> since it says my bed is high i have to jump to get on it ours i guess ours is medium it's not low but it's not super high i always wanted a bunk bed as a kid i never had one do you guys ever have bunk beds Anyone can do pottery, but it takes talent and practice to do it well. Um, it takes perseverance, like a lot of things. It takes uh, uh, a lot of miles to get to the point where you can just automatic, you know, like autopilot, autopilot do it. I can't speak. Today, I can do pottery better than I can speak. I'll say that. Yeah, I used to jump off. I used to jump, but after being released from the hospital uh, later year, I couldn't jump, so I had to heal first. Uh, what, what were you in the hospital for, if you don't mind me asking? Clint says, I go for a little bit. Okay, Clint, this, no worries. I like how everybody's basically a moderator. That, that satisfies me. Sunset, oh no, what am I going to do after birth? I haven't thought about that. <laughs> Step stool became essential. You need a stool. Get yourself a stool. Uh, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Get you some stairs. Oh, it's Max. Mm -hmm. Are those the numbers? No, this is what, I don't know what the process for the shows. Um, the higher ones, I think. Yeah, because we want to keep it consistent with our um, our shops. Yeah, <clears throat> I had you ten. Need someone in here. You know what? You know what? I just had an idea. I'm about to get my chops busted. Okay. No, I have an idea. You chose moderators, right? Yes. But I should be able to choose chat raiders, like the Chad moderators. They get to bust your chops when I'm not here and call you out because you need someone. I don't like this plan. Because, you know, your mattress conversation was going downhill. You I, need someone I thought it was, to call I don't, you out. All right. 
in okay, I'm in the chat, do you guys think that my mattress conversation went downhill? Well, I mean, show of hands. I'm just saying, if I wouldn't have interjected, I thought it was perfectly the room, just you heard me from the other room. mid hill. You heard me from the other room, and you're like, oh. You, I need to. I need to get a Chad chop buster. I'm losing my. Uh, speaking of busting chops, Max is taking my chat away, and I can't see it. Well, you know, it's just I have a job to do. She's she's busting, busting my chops by taking job. my chat away. You. I think the thing is, what we need to do <laughs> is have a chop buster, a Chad chop buster, designated for when I'm not in the room. I nominate. Cleanthus. You don't get to nominate. As the official, <laughs> I get to because I am the official one. Now bring my chat back. All right, there it is. Leslie said I had ten percent of oxygen in me. Oh, when you had to go to the hospital, what did, what was wrong? That's that's not good at all. Oh no, I forgot. Since it says the early fans are all mods, kind of nice. I was in the ICU for damn near three weeks. What? We're the real ones. All that fly almost hit me in the head. I felt it. Zoop. The OG fans deserve to be a mod. Number one supporters here. Chatterator. Uh, hey, scroll back down. What are you doing? Uh, definitely you could take a turn stuff? if it was interrupted. It was perfect. All right, I'm I'm lost losing the thread on stuff because Megs came in here <laughs> and she threw a wrench. Hey, I'm not even done reading the chat do yet. You You're already want... taking it away. Hey, do you want? Your would you rather questions pulled up? I just do it just in case. Hey, you you ask the questions. Hello, Bashir. Welcome to you. I lost the thread on all kinds of stuff on that. So would you rather? Here's my would you rather. Would you rather just hang out in in chat, or would you like to be a chatterator <laughs> and bust Chad's chops? No, please, nobody nobody bust my chops. My asthma got sick. It was very odd. Tested for everything. I was negative for it all. She didn't have like COVID or something. Asthma's rough. My mom yeah. got asthma later on in life. Like she never had it until it was triggered by something or another when she was after I was grown. And it's pretty. I mean, it's pretty, pretty rough. rough sometimes. She remember she even ate that wasabi. That oh yeah, she had a massive asthma asked, attack. Yeah, eating wasabi. Yeah. Crazy. Hard to reset. See, I lost the thread on that one too because Meg's distracted me. I blame Meg's. Uh, question for my Meg's. Would you rather have a green leprechaun hat or fairy wings daily? Oh, wait. That's easy. What is a hat? Is a leprechaun hat magical? Can it do stuff? Can you pull rabbits out of it and things? I would say either they both are functional or neither are functional. So if you have the wings, they can fly, but the hat, you can pull stuff out of it. And I, go with wings. I don't know. Having a magic hat would be kind of cool too. <sighs> Glad you're okay, Leslie. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. I think I'll eventually do a video because it changed my life. How so, Leslie? If you don't mind me asking, Monsieur says. Something that makes scrolled up. Uh, I'm very happy to see you always working and smiling to everybody. Hey, I appreciate that. Oh, that fly's buzzing around your leg, Megs. Don't let it land on you. How can you see that? Because I, I can see your legs. Where's the. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't realize you could see me at all. Mm. <laughs> the big horse fly flying around. Ooh, it's a horse. No, that's not a horse. Ooh, that is a horse fly. Yeah. Oh. Big boy. Megs saw the fly. She's it. about to do battle Gracious. with it. Oh, there he is on the side of the Where desk. Where's your flask water? I think it's it's over there. Where? On that table that's full of all kinds of stuff. The, the assorted junk table? The assorted junk table. Indeed. I need to clean that table off. It's just got stuff all over it. Hmm. I think I could... Either one would be fine. I'd gladly take the hat or the wings. I don't see one. I'm going to leave you to the horse time. Chad called it. You know Meg's well. Indeed, I told you. I told you she'd want to do battle with it if she knew it was in here. Oh, did you? Mm-hmm. Because you're a little, you're a fly killer. I am a fly killer. Mm -hmm. I'm a fly killer. 
Yeah, you see a fly and you're like, oh, I got to get that fly. You do. You have to get rid of them. <laughs> Oh, there he is. I see him. He's Wait, around your legs I again. I don't have a problem finding the fly. He's landed on you. He's not on me. No, he, no, okay. <laughs> what in the world? What? He's, He's huge. You must smell Where good. Where is your fly? I do, actually. Where is your fly spark? You should you have a sign that says positive vibes only because you're always positive. I try. I, I do do try. And after about, a, you know, after you've been awake. Yeah, at about 4 o'clock in the morning. Between 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm not very positive. It's not that you're negative. You're just not, you're just not coherent, I would say. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know where your fly is, but if I find it... That fly is dead. Hey, what about a ruler? Would a ruler work? <laughs> I've got a ruler. Can you smack it with a ruler? Well, I can. I'd be impressed. Oh, there he goes. I see him. Keep your eye on him. I do have this Oh, he's right back. There. <laughs> you guys are going to hear. I see All right, him. Listen carefully. He is ferocious. He's agitated. And he's impressive. Listen for the whoosh. He went right here somewhere. You guys might hear a whoosh smack. That was me making it with my mouth. I don't know where he went. He's gone. He knew I was born on a weapon. Kind of like looking over my shoulder now. He's big. Where did he go? Okay. He's, if you say anything, <clears throat> you know. Because he's gone. Uh, it's just a wake-up call and every day to become stronger, physically as strong as I am mentally. The day uh, breathing tubes were removed, I wrapped Eminem Tupac because I was watching the movie in the ICU. My wife is the same way, but with spiders. I'm out, uh, out there, out here saving them from her foot. <laughs> Yeah, my Meg's, I, I'm the guy, I like smash the spiders usually. She's like, eh, and I smash the spiders, but she kills the flies. Would you make for me a cup of coffee? Oh man, I want some coffee. I had some coffee at lunch, but I feel like I need some more. <clears throat> I'm seeing you live and I'm learning Greek. I don't know why, because the Greek friends are here. Uh, we need some traditional Greek decorations in the background since there's so many people joining per pertaining to Greece. Indeed. Max, don't hit Chad. Hey, uh, that's actually not a bad idea. Hey, but don't give her ideas. You probably need it. You need no, it. hey, do not. No, you know what you should do? I just had this idea. You should put some sort of um, like a little like a little uh, like a little 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 like just need a world map. There he is. No, right he over flew head. over my head. Where'd he go? He went back to the back. Did you guys see that? Did you see the fly buzz oh, my tower? He's over here. Oh, I see him. He's in the back now. Go do battle with him. I can't. He won't be still. I don't understand where he's going. Here, I'll hold him down and you smack him with the ruler. <laughs> ah, there he is. is he, he's right there. Where? Where? He's went in the other room. Went in the other room. He went, he went through the door. <laughs> It's a great idea, actually. Yep. Meg, Meg win, indeed. That is a good idea. And get a world map behind me. Picture her in the background trying to kill a fly. <laughs> indeed. I'm not from Greek. I'm from Cyprus. There was someone else uh, in here. The last, the last stream well, from gone. Cyprus. I don't know where he is. Fly says, Maybe. try to catch me. Indeed. No, oh, man. Me. I just don't want... He can fly around in here all he wants. I just don't want him to bite me. Those things he hurt. Cannot. I just feel like it's not his face. I feel like I'm I looking over my shoulder. He needs to go. <clears throat> you know, you could make a little vase or a little mug or whatever. And you know how you do like the state stamps? You could just do a country stamp mm. on the mug. Yeah. And put that and put that mug in the background. Yeah. It might be better than some of your other decor that you've used. Yeah. You know? I think I should get a whole bunch of other G.I. Joe guys to be Bert's friend. And then you guys still have to find Bert, but, but with a whole bunch of other dudes. And dudettes, too. What do you guys think? 
I know there's only being one bird. You don't need to fill this thing up with. You are not an action figure streamer. That doesn't have. It's. It seems like it's not. Perfect. I think that's a great idea. Bird, the fly is enjoying the life. Indeed, <laughs> this is the day that the fly flew around the studio. Uh, we have at least three Greek friends and someone learning the language. That's pretty cool. It is really cool. Shear says, well, I wish you an excellent day of joy, uh, prosperity, and peace. Well done, brother. Uh, you do all your best to make us happy with your videos. Hey, Bashir, I really appreciate that. And thank you for being here. You have a fantastically phenomenal day, and do come back and see us again. And like I said before, bait burts, fake outs. I know, we need bait burts. He used to say do that all the time. <laughs> oh, I think I heard somebody. In the car think door. You heard someone. I think you heard a truck on the road. But I'll go look if you want me to. Pretty sure that's the mail pickup. That would be my guess. I'll go look. All right. I'll go look right now. We'll see. Next is looking. Was I correct? I was not correct. The fly is here. It was. I was correct. Um, well, I hope it was too. I'm sure it was. Uh, I'm writing. What's you writing, Julia? Out of curiosity. Question for the stream. What is the hobby that you are getting into right now? Uh, Julia, writing Greek. Oh, I see. Got to know. Uh, I think I'm going to be on a fishing kick for a little while. After catching that big old bass, I'm really feeling the itch to go do a little fishing. I'm going to have to do that this evening. Uh... Also been playing some raft with my son, my eight-year-old son. Um, that's been pretty fun. We'll probably get into that one for a little while. And then after that game, I, I'm kind of feeling another MMO. Julie says, dancing and singing. Very cool. And Leslie's catching up on my Italian. Oh, very cool. Uh, Bloodleaf, do you speak any Italian? Didn't you say you're... Uh, parents were Italian sunset says oh oh there he is the flies here Megs can you guys see it did you guys see him fly right behind me uh, probably fishing me and my boyfriend want to get into that do it do it I'm gonna be doing some fishing too I'm ready to get my um, get my fly rod out uh, I did a little bit of fly fishing like two weeks ago but I was I was just fishing on the bank it's much better in the boat uh, Thomas says I love to fishing big fish in Sweden Sweden so Thomas likes the fishing too uh, Cavallo Pazzo 1988 I'm Italian hey welcome to you glad you're here Thanks for being here. Sunset says, I'm Italian. We don't speak it. That's right. I remember that now. Leslie says, I need to tap into crocheting again, though. My Megs used to do a lot of knitting. Uh, she got real stir crazy when she was pregnant with our daughter. Oh, there's the fly. And we need some, like, intense music to play every time, like, you know, like a horror, horror movie or something. Every time the fly comes in, it'd be like, titillating music comes on. <clears throat> Let's see, my mother's side is mostly Italian and I do not speak any. I know a couple phrases, but that's about it. Uh, Kevin Lopazzo says, you need to learn, need learn ASMR. Actually, um, Sunset does ASMR and my pottery wheel makes ASMR noises. Uh, Thomas says, I love Sweden. Love Italia. Okay. I bet they are cool I places. Have to go take the kids to the dentist. All right. 
Did you find the fly anymore? He's, he's been sun. flying. You're a little sunburned. Huh? You're a little sunburned. I noticed that. Um, I think yeah. I'm a little tan. You well, you are, but also you're sunburned. Nah. Got, a little, got a little pink on your shoulders. Nah. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but Chad shaved a little bit. I did. I shaved a lot of bit. I didn't shave it completely off you though. You have the shadow. Yeah. It's like a five o'clock shadow level, mm -hmm. rather than. I meant to give myself a haircut over the weekend, but I didn't quite get around to that. It was a very busy weekend. Okay. <clears throat> Kevin Lapazzo says something in Italian. With some laughing faces. I bet that bet that was funny. If I could read it, I bet I'd be laughing too. And I love you, Megs. Love you. Everybody say bye, Megs. Bye. Uh, I'm done with the litter. Uh, some oh, there with the fly. Good job, man. Uh, thank you. I suppose. Are you, con are you congratulating my mugs or someone else in chat? I will say I'm a lot of things, but Italian is one of them. I am 100% a mutt, an American mutt. I'm not real sure what my lineage is. Uh, I know you looked a little different along with the tan. Yep. Shaved the face, meant to cut the hair, just didn't quite get around to it. Did spend a ton of time outside. Everybody says, bye, Megs. Bye, Megatron. Megatron. All right. Now it's just you guys and me and Bert and the fly. And then there were three here on my end. And then, and then all you guys too. Oh, there he is. Have you guys seen the fly? Yeah, he just flew like right here. I have to watch for him. I'll try to let you know when he's about to fly into the view. <clears throat> I'm going to say something in Greek, and I'm going to ask someone to translate it. Uh, DNA test for a milestone YouTube accomplishment. Yeah, I know. i got to see, see exactly what kind of mud I am. He's too quick. The fly is too quick. Message retracted. What did you say in Greek, Julia? I'm so curious. We need Calanthus here. Uh, watch out for that fly. I really don't want to be bitten by a fly. Now, if that was a red wasp, I would be doing something about it. But since it's just a fly, I mean, they're not fun to be bitten by, but, I mean, it's not just, like, excruciating pain. Uh, Julia says, I'm thinking something. Since it says, I will be back. I'm going to get some food. All right, get you something to eat. I had leftover grill food from yesterday. <clears throat> Whoa, you live, Chug. Where, where do I live? I'm in Alabama, in the United States. I'm assuming that's what that means. Something in Greek. Uh, I feel like a broken NPC. Oh, why is that, Leslie? And Cleanthus says something in Greek. Also, welcome back, Cleanthus. There has to be something in their saliva or something, but the way horsefly bites bleed is so weird. Well, they bite the ever living stew out of you. That's what they do. Kit Lee says, Hope you're having a good day. Love your stuff. Just got my first wheel today. Hey, congratulations. What kind of wheel did you get? That's awesome. It's very cool to get a pottery wheel. Uh, hi, came back again. Hey, Greek man, welcome back. My mommy live in Samos, Greece. Thomas's mom is in Greece. You hate it. Elaborate, Leslie. I'm not sure what you mean by that. And something else in Greek. Got a crappy Amazon one uh, propped up in a cardboard box. It's good, though. Hey, if you can make stuff with it, it's good. 
I say. That's what I say. All right, I got five more pieces of clay left. And then I'm gonna make something big. What time is it? How long have we been going? We've been going one hour. Oh cool, I was right. The fly uses a serrated saw-like mouth part. I thought so. I, that's what it feels like, a little tiny buzz saw ripping into your flesh. Uh, mouth part to make a cut rather than a small puncture hole. The fly also uses an anticoagulant to prevent the blood from clotting. It consumes it. Yeah, yeah. Horse flies are terrible. I don't like that at all. Mm -mm. Nope. I'll be watching for that, dude. You kind of make me want to do... He sounds evil now. I feel like I should go do battle with him. Uh, has anyone learned anything about Greek mythology? Um, I, I don't know a whole lot about it. I learned about it in high school, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> I, I figured it was something like that, Leslie. But, I, you know, I, I didn't want to assume. You know, some, some women are sensitive about that kind of stuff, you know? And I'm a dude. I feel like I, I can't. I can't speak to that. I'm sorry you're having to deal with that, though, Leslie. Uh, when I was in school, I loved learning about it. Yeah, it was really cool. I liked learning about it too. Leslie says I know way too much about Greek mythology. Someone tell me an interesting story pertaining to Greek mythology. I'm very curious. In the meantime, I'll ask a question. Would you rather always skip or run everywhere you go? I see the fly. Also, I'd rather run because running is cool. Although, fun fact about me, sometimes I do skip around. Just like feel like skipping and it's like skipping. Do -do -do. Uh, I appreciate you, Chad. Most men just say drink water, eat, and rest. I say you do what you got to do. And I'm here for moral support. I know that it's not an ideal situation. And that sucks. Uh, I said that I love the thing you were doing. Well, thank you, Julie. Sunset says, I'm back. Welcome back. What'd you get to eat? I don't know how to write. Unless it says, welcome back, Sunset. Indeed. Hey, you guys, there are several streamers, not streamers, YouTubers yeah, hanging out in the chat. Leslie's got a channel. Sunset's got a channel. Bloodleaf's got a channel. Uh, Bloodleaf does music. And Sunset does ASMR stuff. And Leslie does uh, some like cooking type stuff. I'm not entirely sure what Leslie does. I haven't watched stuff yet. I just found out about her channel like yesterday. But as soon as the stream's over, I'm going to go check it out. She does um, cannabis related content, I do believe. But maybe speaking out of turn. Feel free to promote your things, my friends in chat. Made a little snack. Yeah, but what did you make? Oh, there it is. Chips with cheddar cheese melted on top. That sounds pretty good. What kind of chips? Like tortilla chips? Greek man says, uh, Me too, very, very much, because I am from Greece. I think it's very cool that my Greek friends hang out in the chat with us. Mug. Completo. This is a, I'm looking over my shoulder, looking for a fly. Another thing we did was some archery this weekend with my son. He's got a little compound bow. I mean, it's like a 10, 10 pound draw on it. No, we got to see that. Archery's a lot of fun. Did that. And we shot the uh, the BB gun. Did that. Oh, and I gave him his... Uh, I let him carry, start carrying him, carrying his first pocket knife. I gave it to him a couple of years ago. He was like six, so I couldn't just let him carry a knife around. But he's eight now. He is old enough to carry around a pocket knife. And he just like whittled sticks all weekend. It was actually pretty cool. It was cool watching him. 
Uh, he only cut himself a little bit, just like a little paper cut on his finger. He's learning. He has a little Swiss Army knife. Uh, correct, Chad. Cannabis content, food, vlogs, car karaoke. Oh, car, car karaoke. Sweet. That sounds like something I'd be into. My eyes. Uh, oh. What happened? What did you do to your eyes, Thomas? Uh, in Greece, it's very hot. How hot is it? Liz says, oh, it's this cute memory. Bloodleaf says, that would make me so proud. Yep. Yep, it was awesome. He was all about that pocket knife this weekend. Uh, and when we made our campfire, I had some, uh, uh, I started it using some cardboard boxes that I'd uh, taken home from the studio. Your clay's in my eyes, lol. Oh. Ah! Oh, when I did the mug? Yeah. Um, no, but he was cutting up the cardboard boxes with his pocket knife, too. The thing's going to be like, I mean, I imagine that thing's super dull now. <laughs> he used it so much over the weekend. I have to sharpen it for him. But I'm going to let him, you know, get his, um, his whittling out and I'll sharpen it for him. Uh, did I come late? Because I had work. Uh, what do you do, Greek man? What does everybody do for work? Out of curiosity. What is your work? And then, what's your dream job? And Viera says, Heart, Shamrock. Hey, Viera, welcome to you. Glad you're here. Well, welcome to you. If we had a pool, it would be very hot. Our pool is just now starting to warm up a little bit. It's tolerable now. I don't know if I'll get in it when I get home from work or not. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. I did get in it after or um, before lunch. Julia says, teach a class. Message retracted. Oh. I do this for a living. But... If I were going to pick, like, second place, uh, I'd like to take people on fishing charters. I've always thought that that would be a cool job. Or um, some career related to water. Uh, marine biologist. I, I said I wanted to do that when I was a kid. Or just, like, a general handyman. I think that'd be awesome. Bloodleaf said, I'm a landscaper, hardscaper, dream job, make music, and other art all day. Hard job. Sunset said, I worked in many restaurants, chef, and I wanted to to own my own bakery. Is that, uh, you still got, you got a chance to do that after kids? That's what my daughter wants to do. She bakes cakes all the time. Leslie says, I'm a personal assistant. I take care of my mother, so a home to caretaker. Well, that's an awesome thing to do. That takes a special kind of person right there. It's, um, it's hard to do that kind of thing. Julie says, my dream job is to be a doctor. That takes a special kind of person there, too. I would, don't think I'd be able to be a doctor. Bert needs a bath very much. Yeah, he does. Here you go, bud. There. He, he didn't have time to get a bath, so he got a shower. A big bath. <laughs> but he needs a big shower. Uh, it's just... It's so hard. I would be in a doctor. Where are you at in that journey right now, Julia? Are you still in school? Uh, I think I'm here to stay for a little while as far as making the pottery. But if I ended up doing something else, I'd probably go the handyman route. I might do some like yard maintenance, home maintenance, maybe pool maintenance. Uh, I think that'd be a cool business to have. If you could just all, do all those things. All of the outdoor things. I'd love that. Honestly, uh, with my precision hand, uh, and hand work, I should have been a surgeon. But I don't want to go to school my whole life. Yeah, that's, that's a lot. That's a huge investment. Money and time. It's wild. Uh, I've got friends that went that route. And honestly, they've not really been in the... Um, well, they've been doctoring for a little while now, but they not as long as, you know, other friends that went, like, straight into their careers. They did a lot of schooling. 
<clears throat> Just because it would be good doesn't mean I should. I'm a log logistician man, so like logistics, uh, shipping stuff, or I don't know. Math, maybe? Dream job, own my own can of cafe. Uh, work with minors, getting off the street, develop a boys and girls club, have a safe space for kids. If 18, they can consume cannabis in one room, away from others. Yeah, the cannabis thing, it's its kind of like, a, it just, it's a scary thing nowadays. I've heard of people, like, get, having fentanyl overdose from cannabis now. Uh, and that's like in, here, in Alabama. Uh, it seems a lot scarier than when I was a kid and like the cannabis now is completely different from when uh, when I was younger as well my dream job is a helicopter pilot now that would be cool I'd like that sunset I believe in you oh did I miss something having a kid now it's gonna be hard but I'll, I will always have a passion for bacon I totally missed that um, yeah just keep at it you know Keep baking stuff. Maybe start baking stuff for family members. Even with that's something you could do with the kid in tow, especially when the kid's like not mobile. Uh, gotta get rid of street weed. Needs good regulation. Yeah, that's the benefit to legalization right there. Um, but with that too, it's I, I feel like nowadays it's just so strong. Um, I don't know. I kind of vacillate on whether or not I think it's a great idea for it to be legal or not. I used to be like 100% sold, like, yes, this should definitely be a thing that happens. Uh, but also, I don't know. I think it's a, a difficult and nuanced conversation. Uh, the reason I would lead toward, lean towards legalization would be regulation, which I think would be good, especially considering the... Um, the opioid um, issues right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's not legal in the Swiss. In Germany, it is legal. Yeah, it's kind of like hit or miss all over the place, isn't it? I took one year baking class, came second place out of 40 people. That's really good. If I came in first, I would have gotten a scholarship. No, you're almost there. Blood Leaf says, like, a, what I get? You get the legal stuff. Uh, when I'm young, I like to smoke cannabis. I tried it when I was younger, but I never really, I it never, I never really liked it. I don't know. It just made me all paranoid and uncomfortable. Uncomfortable would be the word that I would use for that. I didn't enjoy myself, um, especially being from a bigger city. A lot of kids tend to be in the street smoking for whatever reason. As simple as a parent not being supportive of cannabis, so kids start in the street. Thomas says, I stopped in the last 10 years with cigarettes and cannabis. Yeah, I used to smoke cigarettes as well. Don't do that anymore. <sighs> Although, every now and then, I still have a hankering for one. I had the hankering for one yesterday while we were sitting out uh, doing the old barbecuing. Uh, Thomas says, I not, I not miss cigarettes and cannabis. Uh, I still miss the cigarettes every now and then. But I don't do them anymore. Uh, you have to graduate and after go to school for five years to be a doctor. Indeed. Lots of schooling. The biggest reason we need legalization is we'll um, uh, defend cartels. They make all the money off illegal weed so they can sell their other drugs. Defeat, not defend. Yeah, I figured it was something like that. <clears throat> it's an expensive hobby. Yeah, yeah, it is. Both of those things are not cheap. Uh, Bloodleaf says, yeah, I quit cigarettes last year. Still never even had a craving. 15 years of smoking. I, don't, I still have cravings. I used... Um, I haven't smoked for a long time. But I used smokeless tobacco for a long time. I don't really crave the smokeless tobacco anymore, but I, I do crave a smoke every now and then. Um... Uh, Julia says, I have to leave now to clean. Bye, Julia. Hey, I'm glad you hung out with us today. Come back and see us again. 
Uh, you have right blood leaf. We have billions profit. How much? Uh, I lost the thread on that one. I thought it would be hard. It was actually easy for me. I've never been addicted to anything, so I guess it makes sense. I'm glad it was easy for you. It was hard for me. Uh, hey, I have a question for all the men in the chat. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, ask Bert. He's a real man. I mean, he's a real pretend man. <laughs> Uh-oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh-oh. I have a question. Would you rather control animals with your mind or control electronics with your mind? Ooh. We may be on the verge of controlling electronics with our minds with the Neuralink thing. Would you guys get a Neuralink? Raise your hand if you would. I, I don't think I could be able to do that. I don't think so. I think I want to stay, stay all natural. Uh, the only hard part was after two weeks, I got sick like the flu. After that, easy street, no more cigarettes. Um, mine was, let's see, the first three days were brutal. Like, um, the, the fog, like my brain, the brain fog was incredible. Um, and then after that, let's see, probably three or four weeks in, the, um, Kind of just mood swings, just being, um, I had, I had like anger issues with mine. Uh, let's see. Let's say animals, because you never know where you will be. True. If you're on a, a desert island or something, the animals would be handy. Probably animals. <clears throat> They are all... I can't see it. It's behind the heart. All right, one more piece of clay and we got to cut some more up. <clears throat> Our little, little airheads. If you had to choose an animal to be... All right, pick a... If you had an animal familiar, what kind of animal would it be? Like you could control it with your mind? A little pet follows you around everywhere? That you could control. I think a bird would be cool. <sighs> Julie says, I'm going to stay and clean, but no writing. All right, Julie. Thanks for hanging out. Question Why must a man choose an off day to hang out? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Leslie says, A crow. So I'm saying, a bird. That'd be cool to have. It'd be cool to um, be able to see stuff from the sky. Panther, hands down. Panther big enough to ride, like put a saddle on. Like, um, what's that? oh, He-Man. Masters of the universe. This is a stiff piece of clay. What'd you do that for, clay? This one must have been, I had one or two left from last time. <clears throat> Leslie says, okay, little story real quick. All right, here we go. Story time with Leslie. Need some theme music for story time with Leslie. Hmm, what would the theme music be? Hey, Leslie, tell me what's your theme music real quick. If you had to pick a theme song, what would it be? Theme song for you. That's a tough question. Uh, Bloodleaf says yes. I don't remember what was asked though. Oh yeah, saddle on the panther. That's right. Uh, Leslie, you want to hang out with a guy? Or what? Now we're anxiously awaiting story time with Leslie. Uh, so. Definitely gonna go with bird. What kind of bird though? Maybe a hawk. Hawks are cool. I saw a hawk uh, just over the weekend. I was eating lunch. Saw it out of my back window. That was pretty cool. 
Uh, this guy has asked to hang out. We ended up hanging out because of a little emergency, but today he wanted to hang. And I said, okay, just let me know time. And he said, uh, but like right now, I'm like, sir, my hair isn't done. Yeah, guys are more uh, off the cuff, I suppose. I can be ready in like 30 seconds. The ladies take a little bit longer. I know that's a general generalization, but of all of the women in my life that I can think of, every single one of them take forever to get ready to go do stuff. Like me and my son, we just like just throw our clothes on and go. But my Megs, she's got her whole routine. Yeah, like Bloodleaf said, hey, I'm ready for right, ready right now. I'm ready right now. Uh, my mom, my mom took forever and still does to get ready. Uh, my daughter, same, it takes forever. She doesn't even really put on makeup. I don't know what she does with that. I don't know what she's even doing. It just takes her forever. You know, a lot of people say there, there aren't that many differences between men and women. I think this is the one right here. This is the one major difference. Men are just ready. We are prepared and women are not. You guys think that's fair? I think that's fair. Um, a lot of people nowadays can't answer the question, what is a woman? A woman is an adult human that takes forever to get ready. And I don't care if that's offensive to you. <laughs> okay, I care a little bit. I don't want to offend you guys. Um, but but it's true. All right, I got to grab some clay. Oh, no, I got clay right here. Oh, boy. I have a table, this table right next to me. <sighs> he just ended sexism. <laughs> yep, I just answered the age old question. Depending on what day. Uh, oh, wait, wait. That's literally what he said. I'm getting behind. Oh, snap. Yeah, no, no. No, Chad, it's fact. It is a fact. That's facts right there. I know it takes a little while to get ready. <sighs> That's offensive. That's offensive. I'm sorry that I offended you, Julia. Wait, I thought you were supposed to be cleaning, Julia. Just kidding. You can chat if you want to. Uh, my boyfriend rushes me to get ready. I tell him, do not rush me. I'm pregnant. <laughs> Like it says, wish me luck, chat. I'm gonna eat it. Cause I really did like him at a time. We lost contact. Hey, I hope it works out for you, Leslie. You have an excuse now. Pregnant women get whatever they want. Yep. Fact check, true. That is true. Use it while you can. Also, I need to empty my splash pans. <clears throat> I know I am, but I'm riding too. <sighs> Always use the Brego card. My Meg's got me to rub her belly with this really stinky lotion when she was pregnant. And her reasoning, you have to because I'm pregnant. And, and I did. And she swears it helps with the uh, stretch marks. Uh, it's like a cocoa butter. What was it? Paul? Is it Palmer's, I think? Uh, There's a very strong smell to it. <clears throat> Next time, I'm telling you got my preggers, the least you can do is put on my shoe. Yeah, indeed. It works to an extent. Uh-oh, to an extent. Well, at least my wife gets whatever she wants. I'm like a butler while she's prego. I don't know how your partner is. Butler Bloodleaf. Hey, Bloodleaf, you got any uh, more music coming down the pipe? I thought of a cool song idea the other day. Um, we were chatting, we were chatting in Discord and I asked if you'd done anything for your kids. Um, I think it would be cool to do a, like, versions of older songs. So the one that popped into my head 
and I'm, I'm sure you love getting ideas because I, I do too. People tell me to make all kinds of like newfangled weird pottery all the time. I'm like, hey, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. But um, I found a cover of What a Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong. Uh, kind of you're in your your high voice with some rapping verses thrown in there in, in your style. That'd be a cool song, especially if you like. Uh, we were talking about it you know, with regards to your kids. You can do two different verses with your kids in it. I think that's a cool song, and it could be that could be done. Hello, friend. Krissa is your name. Am I correct? If that makes any sense. I probably just. I was half distracted while I was saying all that. Uh, sometimes it's hard to talk and read and do pottery at the same time. I've discovered. <clears throat> Leslie says, good job, Chad. What, using my brain? Thanks. <laughs> he thinks cravings aren't cravings. He says, I just want the food. No, it's a craving. When you're pregnant... It, it can, it's a craving. I'll just use the chorus as a sample for a song. That'd be cool. I might be able to make that work with that song. Yeah, I think that that would be a good song to do that with. I think that one would be cool. And then, um, Fly Me to the Moon, a Sinatra song. I think that one would be cool too. Uh, but What a Wonderful World is like, it's short enough. Man, this is one of my bad bats. And I think it'd be a great uh, song for kids, too. Or, I, I don't know. I have to give it some thought. I don't know what, what else you would put there. Like, what, what the subject matter of the verses would be. So I think it could be pretty cool. Would you rather always speak your mind or never speak again? Oh, these got serious. <laughs> these turned into the hard would you rather questions uh, I told him to carry the child for the last trimester and see how he likes it I actually do a bad impression of that guy's original song I love that one <laughs> I'd love to hear that put that on discord record yourself singing like Louie in the discord for us to hear I bet yours is way better than mine. Always speak mind. Yeah, I think always speak mind. Speak my mind. I do that anyways. Yeah. I find people that are direct and very truthful to be very refreshing. Uh, sometimes they can come across as like tactless or uh, I don't know. But I like that. I like that. When people have that. I like that quality in people. I already always speak my mind. It causes some trouble, but at least I'm not I'm lying, right? Indeed. Indeed and agreed. I'm brutally honest about how I feel. I am a little too honest at times, according to my Megs. I'm lacking in tact. But it makes for some interesting adventures. Uh, I think I'm too honest sometimes. People get butt hurt. Or should I say Bert hurt? <laughs> Bert, Bert butt hurt. They get like this. There, there. Bert butt hurt. I should hide him like that sometime. Maybe you guys won't recognize the head. Bert will be hiding in today's short. But he will not be hiding in, well, he'll be in the same spot for tomorrow's short. So no Bert in the short tomorrow. But maybe we'll try to make up for it later in the week. <clears throat> Definitely speak the mind. Would you rather know... Let's see. Oh, man. These these are getting serious. I don't know if I want to go, th go there with these. Uh, oh, this is not too bad. Would you rather spend the rest of your life with a sailboat as your home or an RV as your home? Sailboat, 100%. Absolutely. Julia says, lol. <laughs> Bert is trying to do a push-up. Indeed. 
I've learned to phrase my thoughts bluntly without offending people by using humor so they know it's not super serious. Yeah, I'd say I kind of do that too. I know what you're saying there. Kind of like that as well. All right, Bert, you're making me uncomfortable, man. Turn her over. Bert, get that thing out of the sky. <clears throat> Sunset says, RV. And Bloodleaf says, I already lived in the truck for four years. I'll take a boat. Oh, tell me about that. Very curious. How did that work out? Why and how and did you, did, were you in the same area? Or were you traveling in the truck? Leslie says, I don't know, actually. I would, that one's easy for me. I picked the boat. I would love that. That'd be amazing. Oh no, I'm yawning. Would you rather lose all your old memories or never be able to make new ones? Oh man. Hmm. Mm. That's tough. That's real tough. That's a question for, you know, are you over the hill or not? You think do you think that you've already made your best memories? <coughs> Sunset, you made me yawn. <laughs> it's bad. I don't I don't yawn a whole lot during streams. Uh, today I am feeling especially sleepy. Uh Uh, I love or I hate a person in 15 seconds. You think that's all it takes? 15 seconds to get to know somebody? Hmm. I'm trying to think about my experiences with people. I was homeless for a few years after I turned 18. Crackhead mom. Long ass story. So you basically were out on your own is the, the short version of that story. I'm the same way. I either like you or I don't. As soon as I meet you. I have some old memories I'd like to forget, but new ones. See, I, I think that one really just depends on how old you are. So I think the younger you are, the more likely you are to say, you know, just start over with new memories. But man, as a as older, I mean, I've got like, you know, my memories would be, you know, getting married, being with my Megs, all those good times, good vacations, the kids, uh, events with the kids. But then, after that, you hope that, you know, grandkids come along and... And you get to see them become parents and that kind of thing. Lord willing. That one's tough. But I think, like, as you get older, the more likely you are to want to keep your old memories. Uh, hi, Krista. Cleantis says. And Krista says something. Cleantis. My facial expression will show it. If I don't. Uh, I won't have to tell you. Like I said, I can't hide my facial expressions. I have RBF. <laughs> nice. Right now, I'll take losing my old ones as long as it doesn't impact who I am. I got way more memories to make. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. I don't know how I could, how I would answer that question. That was tough. Probably make new ones because I want to say I'm like looking to the future, you know. Being able to put the past down and move on is a good skill to have. Heaven Leah's here. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to you as well. Glad you're here. Welcome to you. I think I need to scroll down my list a little bit. We need to get past the serious questions. Don't need serious questions on a Monday. <clears throat> Sunset says, 
people don't speak to me because I look mean. Maybe because I am. No, not mean. You not mean at all. Surely not. All right, I'm gonna scroll the questions down. The fly just flew right past my head. Oh, my feet are sore. Oh, oh. You guys remind me not to run in flip flops. That hurts. Ouch, Charlie. That's meme level a long time ago. Crazy, would you rather questions? Oh boy. That's I like crazy. I like you guys like crazy? Oh boy. Oh. Greek man says. Did you have another job before pottery? I did. I had a few jobs. Let's see. I started out as a kid. I started working in my family's cabinet business uh, when I was about 13 or so. Well, I started before that, but I started working on the in the factory, like running big big machines when I was like 13. Before that, when I was seven, I like loaded the Coke machines and made uh, cardboard box lids for the shipping and stuff like that. I did that, and I did that until I was like 23, and then uh, I worked for the university when I was learning to do uh, ceramics, I have a fine arts degree, and there I mixed all the clay and the glazes, and I did kiln stuff, um, basically studio technician, that was my second job, and then when I got out of school, before I started the business, my brother actually has a... Uh, a business where he restores classic cars and I did that for about six months and then after that was when we started the part pottery studio uh, Leslie says I'm crazy I'm crazy too sunset says Chad you haven't met me I have a good heart for sure but if I get disrespected I will disrespect you 1000% more Sounds pretty intense, Sunset. Heavenly says, let's get crazy. Indeed, let's do it. And Chris says, something to Greek man. Probably hello Greek man would be my guess. Hey, am I learning Greek? Did I just decipher the Greek? Would you rather have your life narrated by a comedian or by a horror movie narrator? Mm, comedian. And comedian. Although, with this fly flying around in here, the horror movie guy, that, that might be more appropriate for today. Are you guys into horror? Question for the stream. You, you guys like scary movies and stuff? I, I could really take them or leave them. Every now and then I'll watch one, but I'm just kind of like, eh. Uh, Megs does not like horror movies at all. So, I don't have really have occasion to watch them. I'm trying to remember the last one I watched. It's been a while. It's actually been a while since I watched a movie. Question for the stream. What was the last movie you watched? Just any movie. I'm trying to think of the last one I watched. Oh man. What was the last movie I watched? It's been a while. Uh, Leslie says yes. Yes, I do. Since it says, I love horror. Chris says something in Greek. Having Leah said horror, because I'm that one person that falls every five steps. I love those movies. Uh, since it says, I've been trying to find new horror movies, but I haven't found one yet. Anybody watch the new Exorcist on Amazon? I might have a mug hiding in that movie somewhere. I haven't watched it yet. I'll probably watch that one just to see if I can find my mug. Uh, my favorite type of movie is a horror film because I can't get scared. I've tried to, but I haven't yet. I'm not even lying. Forrest Gump. Oh, Forrest Gump's awesome. I love that movie. I'm going to watch it again. Uh, mine was My Sister's Keeper. I don't like slasher films, though unnecessary gore is dumb. It's got to mean something. Well, I like more psychological stuff myself. Uh, Teddy Wright. 
It does mean high Greek, man. Hey, I've learned some Greek. Yes. Ah, that's awesome. I approve. Is it the Exorcist movie with the two girls? I'm not sure. It's just a new one. It came out uh, last year. Exorcist 2023. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Indeed. I ate at Bubba Gump, Gump Shrimp Co. one time, and they came by and, and asked us the trivia and stuff, and I got a lot of them right. I won for, for our table, anyways. I think I got some ice cream, maybe. Love that movie. Uh, <clears throat> Since it says, I can't watch those movies, I've had an experience with exorcism. Oh, I can see where that would be a uh, uncomfortable thing then. Uh, Chris says, me taking Greek. Uh, the guys maybe be talking English. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Uh, the same good movie and a good message. Indeed, Forrest Gump was awesome. Forrest Gump is like, just keep at it, man. I don't think, no, my daughter's not seen it yet. She's just now getting old enough to watch more adult, or not adult movies, not rated R stuff, but like stuff with older concepts. Like she watched uh, Titanic. Uh, eh, just a month or so ago. Stuff like that. Oh man, she loved Titanic. Middle school girls. <clears throat> uh, Exorcist Believer. The movie has two girls who get possessed. I think that might be the one, but I'm not entirely sure. They never tell me. They don't even have, like, when they, they get the props. They don't even know what the project is going to be. So, I signed one for the Key and Peele movie Keanu. And they were like, it was just like untitled Key and Peele movie. And then I did one for uh, an AARP commercial. And they were in that. And I knew, knew what that one was about. And then Map of Tiny Perfect Things on Amazon. My mug is in that one. Um, it's just like sitting on a desk in one scene. Um, I just knew the it was based on that book and then this one was like a sequel to The Exorcist uh, let's see since it says that's why I believe in God because of the exorcism thing I'm very curious you probably you may not want to relive that um, that period of your life I'm very curious. Uh, let's see. Now I'm gonna watch. See if it's there. Yeah, I'm very. I'm. It, it's probably just like in the map of tiny perfect things. It's really hard to see it. I was like, oh, there it is. I found it. Need some holy water if you watch that movie. Heaven Leah says I watched that. Uh, me talking Greek, talking to the guys. Not you. Me talking English. Me talking you. Okay. I don't know what that means. Someone translate that. Did you give them face mugs or just normal mugs? So I know what to look for. Um, it's face mug. It's probably one of my mugs that's got the... Uh, oh, I got one right here. Um, the one that was in Map Tiny Perfect Things was this one. It's got the little surprised guy. Um, that's That one and a chicken mug are the ones that have been floating around Hollywood Studios for a long time. <clears throat> I've always been a believer of God, but it's gotten stronger since then. My brother got possessed, and I was there when it happened. That's crazy. I, I'm a believer. I believe that stuff happens. Um, I've had experiences like that, not necessarily with like possession, but of like you know supernatural type stuff. Um, but enough to. Well, I have other reasons for believing as well, but, you know, that as far as that kind of thing, yeah. That stuff's legit real. Uh, let's see. Chris says, let me go to sleep. Bye. Good night, Chris. Hope you have a good evening and hope to see you again. 
he could sense it coming toward him and he wouldn't be himself. Very crazy. Oh man, or very scary. Yeah, that sounds real scary. Mm -mm. I don't like that. <clears throat> All right. Would you rather have all your clothes fit perfectly or have the most comfortable pillow, blankets, and bed sheets in existence? Hmm. Hmm. That was pretty tough. His voice changed and he was literally being dragged by a shirt down the stairs and his bedroom door was locked but somehow flung open. What? Uh, there's a YouTuber, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen him, he's uh, Mr. Ballin, B-A-L-L-E-N, and he does, he does storytelling, and he basically tells stories like that. Uh, I've watched a lot of his videos, and he does like, not just uh, paranormal stuff, but he does um, like cave, you know, like going down like cave diving stories uh well really just like there's one series he does where people going where people should not be going uh very very cool channel oh i know him well yeah everybody knows mr ballin i love him yeah mr ballin's great Oh boy. I don't know if we should go down the paranormal rabbit hole or not. <laughs> I tried to just say, uh, I kind of want to keep it light. Uh, he went to the hospital to get tested because my dad thought he was on drugs. All his tests came back negative. Had a priest and everything come. Spelunking is what the cave explorers do, by the way. Spelunking. That's the word I was looking for. That's the kind of word I was looking for. What was your favorite subject in school and least favorite? Good question. Uh, I always liked science and history. I was best at English. Might come as a surprise to you guys. I can't speak sometimes. But... Made A's all the way through in English. I was good at writing papers and stuff. Uh, least favorite would be math. And it's still my least favorite. I rely on my calculator way too much. Greek man says bye. I'm coming again. See you, Greek man. Glad you joined us. Gotta stand up now. I scooted my table forward. Actually, I don't have my shelf here now. So I'm going to be real loud for a second. Sorry, guys. Oh, yeah, best sound ever. I'm scooting my table back so I don't have to stand up every time. <clears throat> uh, I went to the hospital. I read that one. Uh, he was at a friend's house, a few houses down from us. And he flung up from his chair and fell back down. Scary stuff. Oh, man. So you were there and saw it happen? That's crazy. That freaked me out. Um, like I said, <clears throat> don't know how far down this rabbit hole I would like to go. I like keeping keep things light. But that kind of thing, that kind of thing happens. Um... Had a few, a few experiences with that kind of thing. We'll just leave it there. Right. More bats. You can't show fear though. <laughs> that was a horrible sound. Yeah, it was. Awful. Megs, I'm glad my Megs wasn't here. She would have been like, ah! He really gets her. Uh, Leslie says, it's crazy, I'll be gone out the dough. Can't you fear though, that's what will get it to come to you. No fear. Uh, 
<sighs> Next question. Would you rather... Oh, we already read. We, read, we did that one the other day. Would you rather be forced to dance every time you hear music or be forced to sing along to any song you hear? Uh, hmm. I think it'd be kind of cool to be good at dancing. Maybe that would force me to be good at dancing. My problem about honesty from before prevents me from being involved in that conversation. I don't want to share those opinions. Hmm. Well, I don't mind talking about it. But, uh, my whole thing is like, I don't know. I try to keep things lighthearted. You know, you guys see my, my mugs and stuff. But I think it's good to have those conversations sometimes. Uh, Leslie says, dance. My favorite one is math and science. Writing least, least is history. Oh, you don't like history? I love history. No way I'm singing. My brain already forces me to sing along to every song I hear. Yeah, I always I, I sing songs. I have songs going in my head all the time. Plant that says, dance. But I, I don't mind talking about like religion and politics and that kind of stuff. They're going down that that rabbit hole, but also, uh, I haven't really decided where I want to go with that as far as like how opinionated I want to be, because I really want to keep it light. I think that just you know have it have a positive, positive vibe and a welcoming vibe for everyone here. Um, but I think that you know my worldview kind of. Uh, basically shines through in I don't know you guys probably know kind of know my opinions I think I've mentioned that I'm a Christian on here um, you know politically see people find my opinions on that supernatural stuff offensive sometimes even if it's not meant that way so I just don't involve myself I just listen to what people have to say oh uh, why would it defend I've got friends that are atheists and Oh, we're still friends. Friends of different faiths. Uh, no way I'm singing Justin Bieber. I'd rather choose Death by Cherry Pit. <laughs> How would that happen? You choke on a cherry pit? If you aren't a believer, don't get in the conversation. Or do. Or do. I think it's fine. All are welcome. Um, I don't really... I mean, I don't get offended. Uh, I got a little offended one time. I had a friend in college, and he was like... By the time I get done talking to you, I'm going to turn you into an atheist. And I was like, go for it. <laughs> and guess what? He did not. So. But, like I said, I am totally here, willing and able and ready to talk about it if you guys want to talk about it. But also, I think it's good that, you know, we talk about the things that we have in common. And to build bridges that way. Uh, I mean, it takes about seven cherry pits to kill you because of the cyanide. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I don't associate with atheist. Hmm. Uh, usually, I, I you know I don't really. Uh, for the most part, I guess I've become friends with them first, and then, I mean, we never just, it's never stopped us from being friends. I mean, there's always the, you know, the chance to witness to somebody. I'm more talking about the supernatural stuff, not the religion stuff. I can openly talk about the religion all day. Huh, so what about the, uh, the supernatural stuff? Uh, Julie says, my phone is broken. What happened to your phone? <clears throat> my view on the supernatural stuff. I guess we're going down this rabbit hole now. The Pandora's box has now been open and we're going there. Uh, so my view on the supernatural stuff is that there are angels and demons involved, basically. That there are no ghosts, no hauntings, that kind of thing. But the supernatural does exist in the world and the spiritual plane, I guess you'd say, 
heaven, heaven and hell, whatever, it does interact with our reality. Uh, that's kind of the way I see it. So possessions definitely happen. Uh, there is some influence on our world. Uh, the, the things that I've experienced directly when my dad uh, and this I've uh, and this is my, when my grandmother was in the nursing home as well, the employees there would often see small children running around in the, in the nursing home. It was a very common occurrence, especially when someone was about to pass away. Uh, and that actually happened with my dad just a few years ago, right before he passed away. The chaplain was there seeing him and he kept asking what, what the little girl was doing, like standing there next to the chaplain. Uh, so experienced that. My grandmother uh, had a near-death experience uh, right, right before she passed, and she actually lived for a while after that. Uh, she, her experience was that you know, God basically told her that it wasn't her time yet, and uh, that she, she needed to live, live a little bit longer. She had more to accomplish. Uh, but that's basically my view on it. Yes, the supernatural exists. I believe it's angels and demons, influence on the world. No such thing as ghosts, per se. There's a ghost here that steals... Oh, no, I'm going to break my mug. I can't, I can't read this behind the heart. Steals something. It disappeared, and nobody knows where it is. Hennessy. <laughs> it breaks into the liquor cabinet. Uh, Leslie says, no, see me and that ghost would have an, ex have an exchange of words. <laughs> Somebody's getting into the liquor cabinet. Uh, also, Bloodleaf, if you ever feel like you want to share, you're not going to offend me. Uh, let's see, yeah, I don't think there's any way I can share what I think without talking, talking, typing what I think doesn't do it. Oh, I disconnected. Hey, I get that, man. Text is a difficult thing. You lose a lot of the context with the text stuff. And I do not wish to offend anyone with my personal views. No worries, man. All right. Now that the stream is serious, let's reverse course and make it unserious again. Sunset, I'm talking to you. I'm giving you the the finger of wait what was it called? This was the finger of oh what do we call it Friday? It was the hand of justice, but you're not getting that because you're not in trouble. You're just getting the warning. I guess we call it the warning finger. Uh, sunset says me and my boyfriend were in the room and heard knocking on the wall. Nobody was there. Cat heard it too. Uh, I was at studio one day and I swear. I was like here by myself, and then I heard a lady talking. I was like, what you doing, lady? <laughs> You're not supposed to be here. I never found her. <clears throat> Ouch, Chad, the finger. I know, did you feel that? <clears throat> Julia says, why are you doing a lot of mugs? Because I have orders for mugs. I have about 100 mugs on order right now, this very moment, and then I have... Uh, I have orders that come up over the summer and I try to like stock for those so first I need to fill the orders and then I do got to do the inventory for the summer uh, let's see because my main view is to accept everybody and their beliefs so sometimes when I share mine some people take it as me attacking theirs and definitely I'm not I love hearing individual beliefs Julie says, oh, anyway, moving on. Sunset says, when do your videos upload? My short, I normally upload shorts at 2 o'clock, but the stream has gone long today. So typically when I end my stream, I'll upload the short. And my long form, if I get around to recording one tomorrow, will go up about the same time tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I'll let you guys know. I'll, I'll always let y'all know in Discord since we're playing the Burt game. So, 
Bert today. Uh, there won't be a Burt game tomorrow on the short because I recorded them back to back in the same clip and I didn't get I forgot to get up and move him. Um, so we'll have Burt Point available today and then probably tomorrow in the long video. And I may try to remember to move him twice in the long video, and if so, we'll make that one count for two two Burt points. So uh, Did I read that one, Bloodleaf? Because of my view, I think I read it. I don't know if I read it out loud. My view is accept everybody and their beliefs. So sometimes when I share mine, people take it as me and attacking theirs. Definitely I'm not. I love hearing individual beliefs. That's fair. Totally. Uh, you did that the other time. Yeah, it happens. Sometimes I forget, I forget to move Bert, or so like in the last one, or I'll recycle. I thought that that video over the weekend would have done better than it did. I think it was, it might have been because I uploaded it at a weird time. So I uploaded it really late on Saturday evening, and I've never posted one at that point. But also I had low, um, lower uh, percentage watch time, strangely. Every now and then, I'll have a dud, and I'm like, I, I really don't know. I can't. I don't know the rhyme, the rhyme and reason to it yet. I haven't figured it out. Or if it's like a, a different audience seeing it, or who knows? Who knows? But today's is straight up pottery wheel. Everybody's favorite. Just making a bowl, or it seems like everybody's favorite. Uh, today's strat, uh, bleh, can't speak. Today's uh, stream and chat has been very active. This has been a good stream. This may be a record stream today. I don't know. I have to find out. It's definitely up there. Sunset says, "Hey, Chad, guess what? What? My kids might say chicken squat because it's the thing that kids say." Or chicken butt. Guess what, chicken butt? Or guess what, chicken squat? We just said chicken squat when I was a kid. Did you guys say chicken squat or chicken butt? I have not seen the fly in a while. Uh, sometimes it's not you or your video. It's to do with YouTuber, other YouTubers upload schedule. You might have uploaded when other people did, big people did. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Maybe people have better things to do on a Saturday night. I said it in the Discord, but I'm on my last week of the second trimester. Oh, yeah, you did say that. I remember seeing that. That's awesome. Getting closer. It's time to get ready. It is time to prepare because it's going to happen before you know it. Do um, you guys have your nursery and your, your stuff all set up? Everything situated? Got all that figured out? My Meg says the best thing that she did, uh, and my, my grandmother gave her this tip, was to put a bed in the baby's room so that you know you could just feed the baby and then go to bed in there and then you know especially that first little bit where you're getting up every two to three hours <clears throat> it's helpful uh no we got nothing set up we have a lot to do you gotta get on that you gotta get cracking It's time. It's time. We're good cracking. We have all the stuff, but need to set it up. Oh, you got see getting the stuff is most of the battle. You you can set it all up in a weekend. That's good then. If you need to set it up in a pinch, that's no big deal. If you already got it. But you guys are living in. I don't remember what you were saying before. With his mom, I think, is what you said. So will the baby stay in the room with you guys? This is the question. See, the putting the bed in the baby's room may be a moot point. It may just be there already. Next question for the stream. Would you rather wake up each morning to find that a random animal appendage has replaced your non-dominant arm 
or permanently replace your bottom half with an animal bottom of your choice. Ooh. Uh hmm. Random animal appendage. That, that would make for some challenging pottery right there. I feel like I could still do this. Like if I was like a seal from the waist down, I could still do pottery if I have my hands. Uh, we live at his mom's house until we get our place again. Yes, we were taking the master room. Probably the arm. Bottom half. I think I might need have to choose the bottom half. Plus it'd be random. <clears throat> that all changes when you say of my choice. I know! That makes it, um... Makes it challenging. If it was random, random bottom half, I would say then it'd have to be the arm then. <clears throat> Christophorus, welcome to you. I'll call you Chris. I think I did that last time as well. Warm welcome to you. Would you be 18 or 80? I don't know what the con context of that is. I'm closer to 18 than 80, I think. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't very good in math, but I am closer to 18. Bottom half, and I want a gorilla bottom half. <laughs> Me too, I want that. I don't know, they got short little legs. <clears throat> if you had a gorilla bottom half, it'd be, it'd be basically like what you got now. Except thicker and hairier. Uh, still humanoid, baby. Ostrich. What would be the craziest bottom half? Octopus. I'd probably get a lot of pottery done if I had an octopus bottom. <clears throat> Strong and fast, short little legs. <laughs> Indeed. Mm. I'm still thinking of animal bottom halves. Hmm. I'm, I may be pondering that one for a little while. What if you had a snail bottom half? That would not be ideal. And would you have any of the shell or would it just be the stuff? The slimy stuff. I guess it'd just be the slimy stuff. Uh-oh, yawning. Don't look. I'll make you yawn too. Chris says, yeah, yes, you can call me Chris. Awesome. Christophorus. What is considered the bottom half of the snail? Is it cut off where they go into the shell? That's what I'm thinking. That is what I'm thinking indeed. Would you rather have all the traffic lights you approach be green or never have to stand in line again? Hmm. Probably traffic lights. I think I spend more time waiting at traffic lights than I do standing in line. I really don't go places very often to stand in line. Uh, I guess the grocery store. I think it'd be more efficient for me to choose the traffic lights. I think a snail is basically a blob. Not much there. Indeed, Leslie would pick the traffic light. Florida traffic lights are insa insanely long. Some of them here can be long. We have a couple of red lights that were put up just for no reason whatsoever, except that it was like a state regulation kind of thing, and they make absolutely no sense where they are. You guys have some traffic lights like that? Like the state required them to have X amount of things or specific requirements to be able to come through and like pave the road or whatever. Another one, there's a factory near this one caution light or not a caution light, the red light. There's a factory that was built near it and the factory required that there be a light as part of their, I guess, reason for coming into the county or state. <clears throat> Bloodleaf says, I don't stand in long lines. I want traffic lights. Indeed, yeah, that's me. I'm from Cyprus. That's why my name is so long. Well, very cool. I'm glad you're here, Chris. I appreciate you being here. I have two here in my town that are way too long. Right on my way out of town to work. I hate it. 
And we have some spots, like we have one intersection here that like we really need traffic light there because there have been so many wrecks and it would solve a lot of that. I mean, it'd solve all of that actually. But they won't put one in. I don't know. We had a hurricane one time. The lights got knocked down, so you had to do four-way stop. Nobody followed it. Nobody did. That's what you did. But was it just anarchy? Hey, another person from Cyprus. Someone else said they were from there. Yep, that was Julia. Oh, there, there's Julia. Julia, have you met Chris? Because you guys are from the same place. That's very cool. And she's still here. Nice. <laughs> Indeed. I just keep streaming for a while. I know I've been going for a while, but this has been a good stream. I have not had a stream break 1,500 views before, and this one has. So that's very cool. And I want to stop to say, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It's been a fun stream. Um, even down to the, the little... Uh, the supernatural stuff that was an interesting conversation Chris says my kids love your videos hey I'm glad to hear it Abdur says hello hello Abdur warm welcome to you glad you're here hello bro sup bro sunset says it's lit indeed indeed it is lit and I approve of the litness of it Ooh. Should I get my guitar out at the end of the stream today? I feel like we should end this one with a bang when the time comes. It's not time yet. Y'all would have to wait on me to wash my hands though. That's the only thing. Also, I don't know if my, uh, I don't know if it's tuned. It will be slightly out of tune. I can guarantee. Abdur, Julia says, yes. And Abdur says, lots of parts. And Sunset says, totally. Sweet, I'm totally gonna do that. We'll play a song. We're going to engage in guitar shenanigans at the end of the stream. Yeah, no question. Sweet. I'm going to do it. I've been meaning to do that, but I forget. I just like wind the stream down, turn it off. But today, we're going to make it happen. Chris says, I will say something in Greek. Do it, Chris. And Leslie's making teary cry eyes. Why, Leslie? Uh, Julia says, I'm a translator. I'm not a translator. I should have taken the time. Oh, I clayed my britches. Jenny got some loyal subs. I like that. I like that a lot. YouTube, the YouTube thing has been going well. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. And the, the farther along I go, the more I favor the live streams. That, I don't know, they're just fun. Enjoy talking to you guys. Uh, I don't have to spend all the time editing the videos. I think that might just be where I end up. I burned my finger with the darn flat iron. You probably didn't say darn. I really need to go get my glasses. <laughs> I think it's damn, but without the end. Leslie getting ready for a date. Do it, Leslie. See, this proves my point. Because that was like an hour ago when you said that you were going to get ready. And you're still not ready. Called it. Sunset, stop. This isn't a date. Hanging out. Leslie's going to hang out. <laughs> well... All right, we have almost filled up a table with mugs. That's good. This is going to be one of my orders plus a little bit. <laughs> Chad, I said this, I take a while. She's too busy watching the live too. Yep. Mm -hmm. Netflix and hang out for a little. No Netflix and chilling. Because I, I may be a peepaw, but I know for the youngins that means questionable activities. None of that now. 
Uh, Chris says, oh, did you guys see the fly? It just accosted me. It got all up in my face, in my business. Uh, it's a step down from Netflix and chill. Okay, that's good. That's good. Abdur says, can I use your video on TikTok? No, don't use my videos on TikTok. They do not approve. But, but do hang out with me. Y'all gonna make me burn my... <laughs> Don't burn yourself, Leslie. Chris says, I do tap decks. Dan's like, oh, I bet that's cool. Where they actually just chill. Like, you just, you actually do what, do what is proposed in Netflix and chill. You actually do that. And you made me get out my emphasis finger. Don't burn my finger, Leslie. And don't burn your finger. <clears throat> You're perfect. Thanks. What what he said. I lost the thread on that one, Julia. Your date is going to wonder what happened to your fingers. <laughs> Stop burning yourself. All right. So, what time is it? Uh, probably should wind the stream down. Usually my Megs calls me around this time. And she's going to be like, what you doing? What you still streaming for? Let's finish this one up. I'm going to wash my hands and grab my guitar. And we're going to play a song to wind down the stream. Chris says, I need to go. Bye. See you, Chris. Actually, bye. Glad you were here. After just wondering, what would you use it on TikTok for exactly? That is a good question. Sunset says, sorry, Megs. Big Sunset, I appreciate you. Oh, Christopher says, oh, gotcha. All right, I'm going to rinse my hands off real quick. And then it's guitar time. I don't know what song I should play. Mm. What have I played? It needs to be one that I don't have to pull up the music for. Because I'm feeling lazy. All right, Bert's going to entertain you guys for a second. Oh, boy. That's a spinning bird. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Are you directing them to a making it or just re-uploading it adding sort of tr transformative properties? Oh, let's see. play and I played that song last time. I didn't have a I did some Johnny Cash before. All right, sorry. If you're just tuning in, this is a pottery stream where I don't do pottery. I play a guitar. He needs a bath and a shower. Bert needs a Bert's gonna show up to a stream one day and just be pristine clean and be wearing a tuxedo and you guys are gonna be like oh, what? What should I play? Let's, let's do Stone Temple Pilots, because I like Stone Temple Pilots. Uh, 
Uh, Eric Crit says, hi, I learned pottery. I can pull the clay, but the walls are coming out thick. It's day 12. Hey, you're still young in your pottery career. Just keep at it. It'll get easier and your stuff will get better and better. It just takes, just takes practice. <laughs> Bert has clay for sure. Yeah, he's got a clay toga, actually. Oh, I got dirty hands. I'm gonna get my guitar dirty. Sunset, you made me get my hand dirty again. I wonder if I can remember this song. I think so. I think it's pretty simple. Simple song for a simple man. Driving faster in my car Falling farther from just what we are I smoke a cigarette and I smoke This conversation count Falling faster in my car I sound like a chicken home at ease and day It's contemplated Time to take a ride and leave today. The conversation. Time to take a home where it's easy. Yeah. It's dancing he's just like flying around my head I had my eyes closed there for a minute but I'm real glad he did not assault me while I was doing that hey I appreciate you guys hanging with me today stream 10 out of 10 will stream again and I appreciate all the kind words uh, oh I missed some stuff music Mondays with Chad indeed we could you should post a singing video if you haven't. You're really good. Hey, I appreciate that. Okay, I'm going to cover, I'll do a cover song and have you feature on it. You have no choice except for what song you want to do. Yeah, that sounds great. Love to do that. Hey, I'll do that What a Wonderful World thing. Let's do that. I'll play that one. I'll pull up the music. I can play that song. I just don't know the chords off the top of my head. I'm vibing. He's a Monday. Megs and the Rockstar. Hey, thanks, Cleanthus. And thank you for being here. Appreciate you being here. Uh, let's play side to side. I enjoyed that. That was everything. I saw the fly. <laughs> you, you saw the fly. How many of you saw the fly? Did anybody else see the fly? Oh, let's do Bert's dance song. We're going to... Here, I'll hold his little hand. His hand has dry clay on it. All right, Bert's, Bert's dancing song. <laughs> Hey, you fell off too soon, man. Oh, I broke his toga. Oh, that's anticlimactic, Bert. He'll do better next time. 
Uh, hey, I appreciate you guys hanging out and hope you join me again on the next one. Until then, have good afternoons and evenings. The short is coming up like right now, so be sure you find Bert. There will not be a Bert short tomorrow, but probably a live stream. I haven't decided. If I get a long form video recorded, I'll post that, but I'll update Discord. So hopefully see you guys tomorrow, if not Wednesday. And until then, have good afternoons and evenings and have fantastically phenomenal days. Bye!